Seven Danish opposition parties on Thursday voiced objection to the government's efforts to make it illegal to burn copies of the Quran, arguing that legislation would be an unacceptable restriction on freedom of expression. Outrage in the Muslim world over desecration of the Quran in front of embassies of Muslim countries in Denmark and Sweden has prompted both governments to say they will look for ways to legally restrict the burnings. But prohibiting Quran burnings would interfere with the principles of free speech in Denmark, the opposition party said in a joint statement. All undersigned parties uphold fundamental Danish civil liberties and are of the opinion that civil liberties must always take precedence over religious dogmas. They wrote. By giving in to outside pressure, the government could also open the door to foreign countries interfering with national politics, the parties added. The veto of the violent men must not prevail and must not set the boundaries for Danish politics and Danish democracy. The opposition said. Ranging from the far-right New Right Party to the far-left Red-Green Alliance, the seven parties together hold 72 seats in the 178-member parliament, while the government of three center-right and center-left parties has a total of 88 seats. Despite the protest, the government will continue to work towards preventing the burning of Korans, Minister of Justice Peter Hummelgaard told public broadcaster DR.